Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. All right, another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show right now. Amy, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Yes, we're very excited to have this interview with you. So let's get the show on the road to let you know we have a lot of listeners who are also business owners just like you. So I need your help. Can you introduce yourself to our audience? Maybe starting off with what is your role in the business, Amy? Yeah, absolutely. So I am, um, I work for Keller Williams. Um, I'm the broker of record for our office. I'm in charge of compliance. I'm also the productivity coach in our office. I'm in charge of training up all of our new agents to make sure they know what they're doing, helping them to become productive business owners in our market center. And then I also have my own successful real estate business as well. Gosh, I can only imagine how busy you are every day, Mondays to Fridays, maybe even weekends. (laughs) <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm quite curious, how long have you been in the business, Amy? I've been doing real estate uh, for about 15 years. 15 years. A lot of experience yeah. right there. Now, um, I'd like to know more. Um, how did you learn about Cyberbacker, by the way? Did you see our website or social media pages or did someone refer you to us? Yeah, so I have a MAPS coach, um, as I should, being that I'm super busy and have multiple hats that I wear. And so my MAPS coach... Uh, introduced me to Cyberbacker when I started talking about the fact that maybe I should hire somebody to help take the stuff off my plate. Okay, so someone referred you to us. So um, how long have you been partnered with your current Cyberbacker? Only a few months. We got partnered up at the end of last year. I think it was November is when we um, started working together. Okay, so only a few months then. Um, Before you got partnered with Cyberbacker, though, did you ever have experience working with other virtual team members? I did not have any experience with virtual team members. In fact, I wavered back and forth when she started talking about, you know, virtual assistant, cyber backer versus hiring somebody in the office versus not trying to figure out what the best option was. Okay, so this is your first go at it with the virtual leverage piece then. So I want to know, how's the experience going so far working with someone virtually, your cyber backer? It's fabulous. It's nice because I don't have somebody, you know, taking up my space and getting in my business there in the office, which is nice. I don't feel like we've lost any bit of relationship or connection because it's virtual. Um, when necessary, we meet via Zoom or call or text or email. Um, so it's there's lots of ways to communicate and to be in touch and still be able to see each other face to face if we need to do so. Okay, then. Now, um, <laughs> before partnering with Cyberbacker, though, how much time did you spend in a week working? How many hours on average? <laughs> so I try to keep my schedule pretty close to about four uh-huh. days a week, which was my problem because I wasn't looking for an admin to necessarily take hours off my plate. It was more all the things that I wasn't getting done. I needed somebody to take those on and actually get them done. Um, so there was a lot of balls that were getting dropped on the back end because I was trying to maintain my schedule of being home for my family and riding horses and doing all sorts of fun things that I wanted to continue to maintain. And I wanted somebody to actually come in and help pick up all those balls and do the things that should have been getting done that weren't. Okay. So was your cyberbacker able to help you down, able to get you to that four days? Yes. Cyberbacker has been amazing in helping keep me at that four days. Avi's come in. She's gotten my database, my CRM inside a command up to par, um, filled in missing information, helped me to start using the smart plans, the Twilio texting, Um, She goes in there and she comments on people's social medias on their birthdays. She sends out all of my birthday cards. She's been fabulous and filling in all those missing pieces that just weren't getting done. On the productivity side, she's tracking all my numbers. She logs in on our productivity sessions, takes role, posts the recordings for me. She just does all that stuff. So basically, she's almost everywhere in both business, the coaching, even your personal real estate team. Is that right? She is. She's everywhere. She helps with my personal real estate business. She helps with the productivity coaching side of things. So she dabbles in all of it. 
Okay, so basically she's like your accountability partner then, right? <laughs> she, she is. <laughs> she's now, my right hand. She's the there. one that makes everything actually work now. <laughs> there we go. She is your right hand. Now, um, you all mentioned this earlier. You were, you had, let's say, um, the things that were stopping you from believing in the idea of virtual leverage. Can you share with us what were these things? So, yeah. So I was thinking that it would be nice to have somebody in the office, maybe that could go, you know, put lockboxes on houses or just be there because this was my first hire ever. I hadn't had an assistant or anything. I mean, I've got a transaction coordinator going, but I feel like that's a little bit of a different hire. So this was my first like official hire. So I just felt like, well, maybe I should have somebody in the office that would make it easier. And then if I needed things done in person, it was there. But then I started having that conversation with my coach about, she's like, well, what is it that you would have done in person that couldn't be done virtually? And we started talking, and I was like, well, I guess just lock boxes. And that's not really that big a deal. And then we started talking about, you know, the lack of overhead because they wouldn't be in the office and the employment laws and the employment taxes and trying to walk that fine line between 1099 versus W-2 and the increased cost. And it just, she was right. It didn't make sense. Of course, right now, um, in, within those few months, she's already helped you save your time and she, your cyberback has also helped you save money then. Is that right? Yes. Gotcha. She has. Um, and she's helping me, you know, because she's running my database. Not only mm -hmm. she helped me save money. I mean, in the admin hire alone, she saved me money because it's a much less expensive option. And then in addition to that, she's helping me manage my database, which means that I've got people calling me and reaching out to me and having more interactions, which is leading to more transactions. Of course, that's the most important thing. More transactions for the business, of course. Now, um, since you already mentioned a few of the things that your cyberbacker is currently doing, I'm quite curious about your growth plan for your cyberbacker, Abby. So what are some of the new things that you're planning to have her do in the business? Of course, new tasks, new things. <laughs> so, yeah. So um, there's things I haven't even thought of right now. So she's definitely... Um, digging and she's actually coming up with things that I could use help on that I hadn't even thought of. In fact, yesterday I had double booked my schedule. So we had a productivity training session with my productivity clients and then they had a lender's corner and I had something else. So she stayed on the Zoom with them during that lender's corner to make sure it was recorded, make sure everybody was let in, kind of manage the Zoom for those that were joining us via Zoom versus in the office. And she managed all that for me while I took off and did my other appointment. <laughs> so she's, there's things I haven't even thought of yet that she's like, oh, here, let me, you go do that. I'll take care of this for you. And so she's just really good at stepping in. She manages my social media. So we're, she's starting to work on growing that. And um, she does all my posting for me. So there's just, I feel like it's limitless. Uh, she's just so good at being able to pick stuff up and move forward with it and kind of, hey, do you need help with this? Or, hey, let me help you with that. So just taking things off my plate as she sees it necessary or things that she could do versus me. So very proactive. And again, it's like yes. an extension of you. She's like an extension of you too, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Now, um, my next question is a bit tough. Um, of course, in every partnership, there could be challenges, right? But let's not call them challenges. Let's call them growth opportunities. So what have been some of the growth opportunities that you've had working with Cyberbacker? Well, I'd say the number one uh, growth opportunity that we had was kind of at the beginning, just tweaking the language mm -hmm. to make it sound like me instead of her. And so just getting that voice right. So it was just kind of a constant conversation of us kind of double checking the posts before they went out or the email. And as she was setting up my smart plans, those custom, just kind of running them by her. And then instead of me like going in there and just fixing it, having that conversation with her of, hey, why don't we say it this way? Because then it'll sound more fluid or more like me versus, you know, because your language is English is a second language. So just yes. um, working with that. And it happened really quickly. She, again, she's just, she picks up on things so quickly. And so it didn't take but a couple of weeks of like just bouncing things back and forth for her to start picking up on a little bit more relaxed English. So just basically getting used to working with each other, just like how you talk the language and something like yeah, that. Absolutely. Okay. Now, no other challenges aside from that then? No, I would say that that was our biggest challenge. Everything else, I mean, there might be a little tweak here or there, but mm -hmm. we really haven't had anything that I'm like, oh, I really don't like that you're doing it that way mm -hmm. or um, any other roadblocks. So she's just, it's just been a great experience, way better than I anticipated. 
Gotcha. That's awesome news for us to hear, of course. Now, um, I have one last question for you, Amy. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of listeners who are business owners. So what piece of advice would you be able to give them when they're partnering with their very own cyber backer? So I'd say advice going into it. The number one thing that I'm glad I didn't do was I'm glad I didn't eliminate any of the potential candidates that they gave me up front, because I would say that Abby wasn't my first choice on paper. But after having that interview and that conversation and interacting with her, she did become my first choice. And I've actually had two experiences now with hiring cyber backers. And I would say it was the same on both experiences. So just don't eliminate somebody based on paper alone. Um, You want to make sure they're a good match and they can do the things that you want them to do. But a lot of that can be trained um, that 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 relationship and making sure that you, you feel like you found somebody that you can work with day in and day out is key. And then making sure you've got a solid plan in place going into hiring your cyber backer with that 30, 60, 90 and make sure it's specific. Um, You know what it looks like when each task has been accomplished or mastered or completed um, so that there's clear guidelines and clear expectations laid out. I think that was part of the success that we're having is that we went into it with that. Of course. So expectations are important. And again, finding that perfect match. Of course, you're going to be working with this person every day of the week. So find someone that you would, are willing to work with almost every day of the week, right? Absolutely. Gotcha. Now, um, I forgot to tell you that Abby's listening to us right now, Amy. So would you want to give her a quick shout out or any message you'd like to give out to her on the show right now? <laughs> Abby, I think you're amazing. Thank you so much for coming into my life and helping me run my business. I think you know how much I appreciate you, but I truly appreciate what she's done for my business. And I'm excited for our future together. As we are looking forward, of course, to see where this partnership would be in the next few months and, of course, the years to come. Amy, thank you very much for being on the show today. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.